Don't worry, bro. This is fine. I've done this a thousand times. It's the most fun you can have with your clothes. Well, you don't have clothes on. Enjoy the ride, bud. It's not the destination, it's the journey. Yeah, my bad. I actually, I had not ever done that before. I was wanting to, but I was like, man, I should get him to try it first. Sorry, dude. Welcome to Militia Rants. This episode is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Stop whatever you're doing and take a breath. Don't waste your life. It's time you made some changes. Have you taken down a demon lord yet? Crushed the ice golem? Ascended the doom tower? What about fighting against millions of real players in the arena? Well, now you can get your life in order because it's time to raid. As you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. With over 500 champions blessed with unique skills, you can build your team, develop your champions, and raid your way. Use my links below to download raid yourself on your mobile phone or PC. Raid has 16 different factions such as orcs, dwarves, undead, hordes, and many more. Each faction is made of many unique champions. It's super nice that I can take it anywhere with me and play it whenever I want to. They all have special skills. Anointed here has Mystic Chill, Vigor Theft, and Chant of Violence. And some of the other champions are... Um... What, what was I talking about? We're gonna go to the tavern to level up our champion. We're gonna sacrifice two champions to make one better champion. And just like that, we've leveled up Sniper. Raid recently released its biggest ever update, the Doom Tower. It's a giant tower with 120 floors, a bunch of secret challenge rooms, and 12 seriously badass bosses to take on. On top of that, Raid also just released a bunch of amazing new champions, and there'll be even more coming this month. This month's absolutely stacked in terms of special events too, with a load of awesome tournaments coming up. You can find me in the game under the nickname Dr. Demolition, and if you're fast enough, you can even join my clan. So what are you waiting for? All you have to do is hit the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen, and if you're a new player, you'll get 50,000 silver, 50 gems, one energy refill, one clan boss key, five mystery shards, one day XP booster, and one epic champion, Executioner. Rewards are only available for the next 30 days and are only for new players. All this treasure will be waiting for you here. Good luck, and I'll see you there. Ugh. Welcome to Demolition Ranch! <laughs> so, we got a bunch of these. The world's largest fire extinguishers. These are foam filled tanks. They're actually 33 gallons. They weigh 300 and some odd pounds. Very, very heavy. So they're, they're foam filled, but they're not pressurized yet. They have a secondary little nitrogen tank on the side of them. And so apparently when there's a fire, you open up that nitrogen tank, which pressurizes this tank, and then you can start blasting out of your hose. That cut. And these things cost like $6,200. And I have seven of them, which is like close to $45,000. What would that be? 43, four, $43,400? Question mark. So is it really in the budget when you get demonetized on every video, Matt, to buy $43,000 worth of giant fire extinguishers. Well, as you can probably tell, these are old. They are totally unused, so they're new in that regard, is they are still totally full. The nitrogen tanks are full, the foam tanks are full. They've never been used. The good thing about fire extinguishers is you usually don't want to use them. And so after a certain amount of time, these things expire and they are worthless. So we picked these up at a super good deal. I did not spend $43,400 on these things because a guy just needed to get rid of them. And I was like, we can't oblige. So what we want to know is how tough are these? These tanks are 450 PSI rated. I don't know about the nitrogen tanks. And I wanna see, can they stop a bullet? And if they can't, I wanna see how many does it take to stop a bullet? So we, we actually have six in a row here because we're gonna, we're gonna charge one tank and shoot some foam out of the hose. I hadn't really looked at these closely yet. There's holes in the nozzle that go all the way through. There's four of them. They go all the way through to the inside of this. And the tip has a screen over it and some spider webs. So what I'm thinking is gonna happen is as soon as I go when it's pressurized, it's gonna hit that screen, back pressure, and squirt out this way. It seems like a poor design, but what do I know? I haven't fought that many fires. Okay, uh, that man is on fire, and we're gonna save his life today, hopefully. P 
pin is pulled. Yeah, so this tank is still full. So as soon as I pull this down, it should charge this and hopefully not explode. This was the one we just rolled down the hill, but send it, you know? Whoa! Oh, we got a leak already. All right, let's do it. Yep, definitely shoot straight out of that. Cool. Man, we're already wasting power on that. Might as well just burn it. Dude, this is gonna make such a big mess. I just realized, I don't know why I didn't think about that earlier, but it's totally gonna be disgusting. Smells good though. That's actually got a pretty nice fit. Holy cow, this gave you the messiest demolition ranch video you've ever seen. We're gonna set up now and make more foamy messes. Yay! I think that other one may have been leaking so much because It might have rolled down a hill, I don't know. Oh, it's open! <laughs> Dang it! Yeah, the guy I got these from was like, hey, make sure when you pressurize it that the valves are closed. Got it! Uh, live and learn. Man, that's scary every time. Oh, that one's got a leak. <laughs> this is why they're expired and very cheap. So far, uh, not having the best of luck with these things. Let's try this one. Well, that one dumps all of its foam out. Dude, I'm just afraid they're gonna explode every time. That one's got a leak too. This is more dangerous than if there was just a fire here. I feel like I should do this with iPro on. Like if a hose has a crack, it's gonna explode in your face. Just oh, so scary. Yeah, that one we need to take out of the line. It's done. Whoop! Little leak there. Okay. We're good to go. First up, we're gonna shoot a 22, but I figured a 22 wouldn't go through, so I have a 22 Hornet. A little bit uh, more powerful than a 22 long rifle and a 22 mag. All right, we're going to that first tank. Let's see if it pops. Okay. I kind of thought there was a chance that would go through, but apparently not. That's a 22 Hornet for those who are interested who don't know. What? Dude, that looks like it almost went through, which means I'm betting the next round will go through. This is 12 gauge. We're gonna go to double out buck, which I think has a pretty good chance of breaking through that, seeing how the 22 Hornet did. We're gonna scoot kind of far back. We're a little bit further back than we were on the last shot just to give, give the tank a fighting chance to not get destroyed by double out buck, but let's see what happens. Okay, dang. Definitely hit. Well, hey, you guys are over there. Definitely hit, uh, but definitely didn't pop it. So we're gonna have to step it up something bigger. Wow, that actually spread way more than I thought it would. So hit, hit, and a dent. Hit, hit, hit. That's probably the best one right there. I don't think that's a hit, and that's a hit right there. Oh yeah, there's one. Nine millimeter? More powerful than one pellet of double lot buck. If all these would have hit together, like if we would shoot it from right here, I bet it'd go through. But let's do a nine millimeter. Nine millimeter out of this Glock. We're kind of far back, because basically because I don't want to get squirted in the face. <laughs> because that nozzle was shooting out of a hole like this big. And if we poke a hole in with a nine, it's gonna be much smaller, which I'm thinking means it'll shoot much further. There we go, nine millimeter at the fire extinguisher in the front there. Dude, that just, that was totally the bullet. It shot the bullet back real slow, right at us. I'm gonna see if I can find it. I'm giving up. I saw something, it looked copper colored, but I was far away, and it landed somewhere over here, but I, I'm not seeing it. Actually made less of a dent than the 22 Hornet did, so that's our nine right there. Crazy. That 22 Hornet is just so small, I guess, and going so fast that it really pushed it deeper in there. Okay, we still haven't punctured this thing, and it's ready to blow. We have some bigger rounds. Next up, we're gonna do one that's about the same caliber as a nine, but going way faster. That's a nine millimeter, that is a 357 Magnum. We're gonna be shooting it out of this Kunin right here. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this one's going to pop it. This is a sweet gun, 357 Magnum in a 1911 framed pistol. All right, firing. How? How did it not? 
I'm impressed. I'm impressed, guys. All right, where do we hit? Oh, yeah. Holy cow. Jeez, that is the biggest dent we have made so far. I thought there was a good chance the nine would go through. I thought there was a 100% chance the three to seven would go through. I was wrong. That, that tank over there is just like gurgling and making weird noises, and it's freaking me out. The next one's going through, though. I'm betting Whistling Diesel's channel on it. Next up, we're stepping up to a rifle round. This is a 7.62x39, the same round that is shot out of AK-47. We are not shooting it at AK-47. We're shooting it out of this little AR variant. This is actually a pistol, but we're shooting a rifle round. And my sight does not have batteries, so I'm, I'm shooting blind. This is going through for sure. What? I can't see any new hit except for that. I don't know if that was there before. We're gonna shoot it again. Okay, you can do this, Matt. You can do it with no sight. I'm gonna shoot again, I don't. All right, that for sure hit. Oh, I hit the top of the one behind it. That's bad. I got no idea where these are shooting. Well, I mean, I got one idea over there. As you can see, guys. As you can see, it doesn't go through the first one, that's for sure. Where was I hitting this thing? Man, oh, that's for sure new. So I think we were hitting high. Listen, I had zero sights. I was looking through a clear scope with no dot, trying to figure out where these are going on a short barrel rifle. And the sun was in my eyes, and the wind was blowing, and these are not even regulation target sizes. But I think it's still bulletproof against 7.62. Let's go look at that one and see what happened then. <laughs> we got hit right there in the cap once. So this one we hit the top here. Oh, there's another hit right there, maybe? Yep, I think we were banging this one. This one got hit several times, so obviously I was shooting a little high. Man, okay, and then we hit this. We hit something over here that just popped at a fitting, I think. Nothing has made it through a tank yet. Oh, obviously we're shooting really high. Real, real high. There's your problem, right there. Went straight through. That hose was pressurized because we had pressurized the tank, which pressurized the hose. So we still technically have not busted a tank yet. These are way lighter when they're empty. 308 out of this AR-10 with a suppressor on it. And no big deal, but it's got a sight. So I actually can aim. All right, going to that first tank. I am 100% sure this is going to go through and pop that tank. Wow. Well, might as well shoot a couple more tons. Yeah, that GoPro just got smoked. It is totally covered in that stuff. As you can clearly see, we got it with the 308. So this one uh, is done. This is where fire extinguishers come to die. If you have any old fire extinguishers, just mail them to us. We'll take care of them. We got three more. Earlier I was showing you the difference between a 9mm and 357. What do you think about a 50 Beowulf? Look at that mean machine. We are going to fire a 50 Beowulf. I honestly don't know which one has better penetrating power between a 50 Beowulf and a 308? I think the 50 Beowulf has more because it has a lot more energy, but it's so much bigger that I don't know if it'll penetrate as well. We'll find out because the 308 definitely punched right through that. Will a 50 Beowulf do the same? Let's find out together. Wow, yep, let's just do it again. You can see that it drained that tank way faster because it was putting 50 cow holes in it. One interesting thing to note though is the 50 Beowulf actually came out the backside. One of them did. I don't see the other holes, but one of them made it through. I think it was once we hit it down there, 
it probably dropped the level and so it wasn't passing through all the fluid it was just passing through two layers of metal so it probably doesn't count since it only happened once but that's the first one we've had go all the way through the tank you know what it is it's uh a pit time armor piercing incendiary tracer 50 bmg out of the old baron m82 um i think it's going through both tanks i'm going to shoot it down low so it goes through the water level holy cow yep that was two well, might as well send a couple more in there <laughs> almost knocked it over that was weird and one more It's dead. Snowing in Texas, boys, is a magical moment. That is a big hole. So 50 BMG, as you guys know, is 50 caliber, just like 50 Beowulf. But the 50 Beowulfs did not make that big of a hole. I could have sworn that I saw this one spraying, but now I'm thinking maybe that one's just spraying at this one. Oh, that one's still full. Okay, weird. So it did not go through one and into the other. It's freaking science, guys. Here's the backside of that first one. Giant hole right there. As you can see, there's also a huge bulge here, if you know what I mean. And it went into this tank as well and tried to come out. It did not make it out of that nitrogen tank. Third one must have hit enough stuff that it just stopped, broke apart. Crazy. So if this thing wouldn't have been there, we would have totally punctured that tank. But we have one more tank to shoot. Let's do it. This is a black tip. That is a armor piercing round. Uh, these penetrators are actually way better at penetrating than the red and silver tipped ammo these are the best so i am hoping i'm gonna shoot a little to the side hoping i can get it past that nitrogen tank so it'll shoot out both sides and blast it everywhere firing that looks like just the front unless i just can't see i think we only made it through one side mission failed mission failed Dude, it may have not even made it through the back. I wonder if we only found those two holes earlier because they were after that first shot. Maybe the first shot hits all the fluid, disperses, doesn't make it through. I mean, there's stuff back here, but yeah. Dang it, I shot off to the side, but it, it totally did hit right here. I just feel the smallest bulge. You know what I mean? Not, not big enough to go through though, just a little bitty. Hey, I just shot $43,000 worth of fire extinguishers. Just for your viewing pleasure, Demolitia. And uh, that thing is still gurgling. That is just, that's just weird. If you guys have any other ideas on big things like this that we can shoot, I'm game. Let me know, quit gurgling, quit talking. Don't talk back to me. It's actually just leaking. It's totally gonna explode, like for sure. If you guys have any other ideas, things that you've been wanting us to shoot on Demolition Ranch, let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. I love you, and I'll see you next time. It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor. Oh, you're still here at the end of the video. You are true demolition, and I want to reward you. This is a 357 Magnum. That's a big can of beans. Hold on, hold on, I just... Ooh, that was closer. Closer still. How many more rounds I got? Three more, okay. Oh, so close! All right, last shot. That actually made a tiny little hole. Not impressive at all. Sorry, Demolition, love you.